Hey everyone, today uh, we're going to talk about advent calendars. We're going to talk about beverage advent calendars. Coffee, tea, wine. Uh, so if you uh, like advent calendars, you like to drink any of those things, this is the video for you. Okay, so first I'm going to get into coffee and tea. So last year, it was, uh, you know, 2020. <laughs> Uh, all the things about 2020. Anyway, I wanted to make it special for my family. So I got an, an advent calendar for everybody. Um, so I got a coffee advent calendar for my daughter and myself. I got a tea advent calendar for my youngest daughter, a chocolate advent calendar for my husband. I got a hot chocolate calendar for my son-in-law. And then I got a wine advent calendar as well. So those are the ones we're going to go over. And the first one is going to be the Hook Coffee advent calendar. Now this is from their Singapore office. They're in, is it Malaysia and Singapore? And they don't on their website have that they ship to the USA, but I reached out to them last year and was curious about it and told them I would pay for USA shipping if they would consider it. And so they did, they did send it to me. I paid for it and I paid for shipping. The price of this hook coffee calendar in, in Singapore dollars is this. Um, you'll just have to look up Google because I can't remember. It's been a year how much it costs for me now. I want to say it was like $40 US. No, like 29 US. I can't see. I cannot remember, so I'm not even going to guess about it. But it's very cute. Um, the it, it tells you uh, on the back every single coffee that you're getting, um, the roast and where they sourced it from. And then it, there's a little instructions. These are the little pockets. So this does tell you the pouch, single pouches. So it does tell you how to make your coffee and it's five to six ounces of coffee. So it's not like in the United States, we we're, gosh, we gluttonous here in the United States. So we consider our cup of coffees, you know, eight to 12 ounces is a small cup of coffee. But truly uh, this, a six ounce cup of coffee and that's what this makes. So it comes really, really nice. You open it up and then there's all of your coffee packets in here, sachets, and they have this little, they have this little poster and a calendar on here so you know what you're drinking every day, what your flavor notes are in your coffee. It's very, 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 very nice. The uh, artists, they featured an artist um, to draw. Here are the artists that they had in the 2020 who drew, um, did the art for the, the outside of the package. And they even threw in some stickers so that you could, you know, hang up some things, maybe put some, if you have a coffee mug that you travel with, you can, people are doing that, right? They put stickers on their water bottles and their coffee mugs that they travel with. So they brought this to you. Now I'm, don't do the sticker thing, but these are cute. And these are some of the artist's uh, rendition. And I do have a um, short little video of, of pouring the coffee, so I'll include that. Um, but this is this is what it is. They come in, uh, and I will include that little video right now so that you can see me using it The um, once you get your water to boiling or close to boiling, then you uh, you open up the sachet, the little packet, and you connect it over the sides of your coffee cup, and then you slowly pour in your, it's like pour over coffee. It's a single use pour over coffee. Now, the other way you can use it, which I didn't do that last year, and I might do it this year, is you can just drop this packet in your mug like a tea. You don't have to rip the top off of it. You can just drop it in there and let it for, for a little bit stronger flavor. You can just let it sit in there. Um, but they had such great flavors last year. Cutie pie, which was a pecan pie. My butter half, the bread and butter pudding, a one and a melon, watermelon candy, sugar plum fairy. Now all of these are just the notes in there and then when they're roasting them. So it was really great coffee and I cannot wait. I, I already reached out to them and say, hey, I'd like to buy uh, another advent calendar because it's a different uh, it's a different but when you this year the 
the artwork on it is different um, and the coffee flavors are going to be a little bit different. But um, they come like this and you know they're just stacked in there like this when you open it up and then you just take the first one out and it'll tell you on this little calendar here which one is which for which day. So I think that's really great and I had a really, really enjoyed it tremendously. So much so that I'm doing it again this year. So that is my coffee calendar from Hook Coffee. Okay, now let's get into the tea calendar. Now, I also have, this is from Yawn, Y-A-W-N, Yawn. See on the top there, Yawn. I also got a hot chocolate calendar for my son-in-law. And he, he enjoyed the hot chocolate, but this has a little bit of, this was great. So you can tell my daughter just didn't open up the other ones at the bottom because once she opened up the top that it just starts, there's no structure to hold them in and they were falling out. And I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. Although she did enjoy the teas, she, I mean, there's some in here from last year that she didn't open. So this was number seven. It's got a seven on it. Um, but it doesn't tell you what kind of tea it is. Um, you have to go, this was supposed to take you to their Instagram site um, so that the, you could see what the information was about each day, but it didn't. It wasn't up and working. It was the same thing for the hot chocolate. He, you know, had a number on it and, and it had this QR code, but that QR code didn't work and their site wasn't up and, and going to tell you what flavor was what day. So when he, when he would go to pour his hot chocolate, he didn't know if it was white hot chocolate, if it was chocolate hot chocolate, if it was um, peppermint hot chocolate, if it was pecan pie hot chocolate, if it was marshmallow hot chocolate. He had no idea what the flavor was because he, where they had it, he couldn't look at the back of it. So you can tell, oh, this is the other thing. There is enough in here for two cups. Um, so my daughter would split them in half. This still has a very strong scent. This was Irish breakfast black tea. But they're, you know, it's loose leaf. I got her a David's tea this year because it's in the tens and it comes a little bit more structured and it's less, it's like they put this out before they were ready to. Um, it would be nice if on here, yes, that's cute, you know, number five in the little snowflake. But it really would be nice if they had somewhere on the packet the kind of tea it is. Just because every day you either have to turn the, you have to turn this around to see what it is that you're getting because their QR thing, although very cool, it wasn't wasn't working last year, and she just didn't eat. She got into number twelve, and she got into number nine. Uh, but there's so many that she didn't finish. So, and I just think it's because there's no way to, you know, once you open it up, you have to use it. And she's a one cup drinker, so. Anyway, I mean, it's great for the loose leaf tea. They need to rethink this packaging though because it was the same with the hot chocolate. He could pull it out and, but all of this kept, you just have to come on off because see, there's nothing for it to stay connected to. And to see what I mean, it just wasn't really laid out. This delivery method of an advent calendar didn't work, so. And I don't think she was too impressed anyway. So I didn't order any anything from Yon this year. So that was the tea calendar. Now we'll get into the wine advent calendar from Aldi's. So this is the advent calendar from um, Aldi's. This was last year's. It's in the shape of a tree. And you can see these are the size of the bottles. They're the six ounce bottles. They have red, they have white, they have sweet, they have sparkling. I think on day 20, day, day 24, you got a champagne of some sort. This was actually very fun. I didn't drink a glass of wine every night, but it was nice. To, and I think this was, I want to say $69, $69.99. Now they launched this year on Wednesday, November 3rd, all these stocks them and they all and they sell out. They open at nine here in the United States. Not all of the all of these in the United States carries the wine. Uh, it's just because of state regulations on the distribution and the um, selling of alcohol and the different percentages. Uh, in the state that I live in, you can get 
wine at the grocery store, you can get hard liquor at the grocery store, you can get it at a convenience store. You don't have to go to a liquor store to get it like some states do. So our Aldi's carries those wine advent calendars. If your Aldi's doesn't carry wine or beer, then they're probably not gonna carry these wine advent calendars. We also got the cheese advent calendar. I thought it was overpriced, <laughs> way overpriced, $15. The other thing they had, they had this Vista Bay advent calendar and it was small. I don't have one in here, but you can see how the doors, it had different flavors than they, than Vista Bay usually we usually get here at the stores, the liquor stores. They had black cherry, coconut mango, ruby grapefruit, blood orange, blueberry, passion fruit, mandarin lime, green apple, peach, raspberry lime, strawberry, and tangy lemon, and 24. And we're not big on this kind of thing, but you know, it was there the day that we went and I was like, you know, why not? Why not? We'll try it. So I think we, we ended up opening all this and putting most of them in the fridge and then just sharing later but it was pretty cool I don't know if they're gonna have another one when I looked on their site this year the Aldi site it looked like they only have a wine and a beer advent calendar coming out but they could have more they also had you know chocolate advent calendars for kids they had dog and cat treat ad um, advent calendars those looked fun <laughs> if, if as long as you pay attention to what you're getting because like I last year I'm like I'm gonna get one for, I got, we have five dogs and I get my advent calendars from Sam's Club, which that's gonna be another video. But while I was there, I'm like, oh, well the, the dog next door, my grand, my uh, mother and father-in-law have a dog. I'm like, I, I didn't get him one, so we'll just get him one from Aldi's. So I grabbed one, threw it in my box, come home, was walking next door with it, looking at it, and, I, and realized it was a cat treat calendar, advent calendar, so. I brought it back home and gave it to my niece and her kids so the kids could open it up and then feed the cats the cat's treats because it just wasn't, I guess I could have done it for the dog, but you know, those little bitty things for cats and T-Bone, he's a big, he's like a Turner and Hooch dog combo with a boxer. So he, he's big head, he's tall and um, he had no little bitty treats going to do for him. He needed a real dog treat, so um, but I will do that is going to be my next video is the dog advent calendars. So stay tuned. All right, everybody, you have a good day. Have a great time this fall. Focus on the good and the happy in your lives and come back and see me again. Mwah.